Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and we are headed out really early. It's 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Sam let the horses out, the girls are sleeping. We started a whole new regime with the girls. How'd you like it, Sam? Boring, lonely? What? The new regime with the girls and the horses. Yeah, boring. Boring, I no, think. I don't get to play my music. I used to play my music. Well, why can't you and do that? And they sing they and then they look at me funny and they want to turn it off because they don't like the song. So I took away all your time with the girls, yeah. is that what you're saying? Eight. Every morning on the weekend, Sam wakes up, wakes the girls up, and they all meet in the barn and they do chores and take care of the horses. And I said, you know, it's nice that they go down and they do that in the morning with you, but they complain about having to get up early on weekends. And I understand that. I get it. As long as the chores are getting done and they're doing it, why can't they sleep in? So then I said, why can't on weekends, you just go let the horses out, easy peasy. And then when the girls wake up, they're responsible for their chores throughout the day. As long as it's done by nighttime, who cares? And so Sam tried it today and he was lonely. He enjoys that time he gets with the girls, I guess. Anyway. That's what they're doing. They're still sleeping, but Sam and I are on a secret mission. What's our secret mission, Sam? Date day. You guys know what date day is. What is date day? Shopping. Saturday shopping. I. We need to knock the rest of this Christmas stuff out of the park, get it done. I'm gonna try and do it over the next few days and finish it all, which is just gonna be crazy, but has to get done. It has to get done now. That's what we're doing. We're headed out. We're taking you guys with us because tomorrow is gonna be so much fun and I don't want anything wrecking my fun tomorrow. Not the thought of needing a million different Christmas things, not any kind of stress. I just wanna go and have fun tomorrow. So this is what I'm asking for for Christmas, for Santa to bring to me. Yeah, this, this is what I like. It's got the case, I can type. It's got, it's got a pen. What you want, what you get. This is what I want, this is what I'm getting. That's what Sam says, you notice the difference. We are getting done, you guys. We are getting it all done. I got this. We already have this, but this is a newer version for baby Jack. So this year I'm trying to stick to the, oh my gosh. So this year I'm trying to stick to that thing with the grandkids. I usually buy them four presents each. And this year I want to stick to that thing that's something you want, something you need, something to wear, and something to read. So that's what I want to kind of stick to, but it gets really hard because it's hard. <laughs> it's so much harder than you think. Like, I see things that aren't books, but that kind of fall in the book category, so I want to buy them that. Like, Baby Jack. You guys know Baby Jack. He's super smart, and he likes words and letters and and so I bought him like a puzzle kind of thing that's like a book and then I don't know it's really difficult to stick to that and then stick to like a similar price range so that all the grandkids are getting equal and fair if that makes sense but that's what I'm trying to stick to comment below what is your shopping plan like what do you do to maintain order from all the chaos that is Christmas I try and keep everything equal so my kids have the exact same amount of presents. I feel like in our family, the kids don't have very much sibling rivalry because we never buy, because they know that I will always be fair. And like this year, Sophie, we bought her something really expensive, but Gabby already has that thing. And like things like, if we buy this horse for, for Gabby at some point, it's really expensive. And I said to, to Sophie the other day, like, how do you feel about Gabby getting all these horses? And she said, I don't even care. I have like the best horse ever. And so I feel like my kids are really, are really good about that. I always have the exact same number of presents for them to open and usually same value if I can. What's your shopping? How do you, how do you guys make sense out of all the chaos that is Christmas shopping. I'm really interested to know if there's a better way that I could be doing this. So we are headed to the mall now. I have Gabby because I don't have very many Christmas presents for her because she didn't tell me what she wants. She's at that age. We had to stop at the barn though and change the horse's blankets. We came to change your blankets boys because it's kind of nice out. Come on over. I'm not walking in mud. We're not walking in mud. We're going to the mall. Could you please come? <laughs> Oh, so we also came to check on Finn. I had Brandon take his temperature last night. 
and I had him check on him and he was fine. Come here. And we're gonna end up at the mall smelling like horses. I can move maybe the bucket like a little farther there, but she won't be able to get in there to dump Oh, she can get in there. I mean, that's how we had it last year. So apparently the horses are stealing each other's grain. Yeah, you got boots on. I don't. So we found a dry spot. Uh -huh. Just don't slip. <laughs> and we come up that way too. Yeah, I know. All right. Far. Let's go. Hopefully one oh, of we get been over there. If we get one, then um, the other one might come. Oh yeah. If Hopefully, because Gabby one. didn't bring boots. Oh, your boots are in the barn, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. But... You can probably make it down there. I have to wear these shoes in the mall. Because mom threw out my clean shoes. Oh, you have no shoes. Hey! At the house. Then you want shoes for Christmas. I, yeah, that's what I need. Ask your mom for shoes for Christmas. Yeah, that's what I'll get today. Here comes Chino. Oh, look at him go. All right. All right, open the gate a bit. Just Try wait, just wait. Time. We have a plan. Open the door wider. For me not to die? Not part of the plan. Okay, grab Chino. There we go. That's our plan. <laughs> we got a plan. All down my shoe. Yeah, well, at least it'll be easier to bring them in. <laughs> yeah. I'll just leave this open for now. All right, I'll hold. And when I get back, I'll turn the camera off. When I get back, we'll have coats on. All right, we got one boy done. We got both. We got both boys done. All right, let's go. Let's well, put them away. Just let them go here. Oh, yes. Here we can. Let them go. Oh no, I left my horse right here, so you could just close the door. Come on in. He'll move in a minute. There you go. And then I just close the door on you. There we go, Chino. Okay, somebody help me here. There you go, Chino. We didn't, I don't know if we brought any treats. All right. Somebody lock this up. Let's go eat. My specialty is closing See you later, Finn. And there we go. Wrap Great. that up, put it in the trunk, and we'll go. They should be folding it properly. That way it'll be... Well, I don't care. How do you fold a blanket, man? How do you fold a blanket? I don't know. I just want this myself. So she's going to buy this for her dog for Christmas. This adorable, cute, soft bunny that's going to be taken into the den of destruction and torn apart. Well, yeah, that's what a dog toy's for. The Bobo was $14.99. What Bobo? Boba. What Boba? Did you find Boba? Dog toys. Oh. Oh my god, this is insane. We found this girl and she's like helping Gabby shop. And Gabby's listening to her. Being kind. Shocker. The door has her name on it and her size. Mom. What? That's how many items I have. Oh, that's how many items she has. Alright, so Gabby's making taking the plunge. Getting herself some boots. So I like these ones. And I like these dark ones. Gabby likes these ones. Yeah. See, these ones don't have the fuzz. Yeah, I, I like the ones with the fuzz. I like the fuzz too. All right, let's get your size. All right, we picked up. We picked up a new girl. We just said, "Hey, new girl, come with us." I want this. That is cute. Well, we will see. We will see. It's fifty percent off. Yes. Well, we're done shopping for today. Let's go. Okay. So, last year at Christmas, we shopped all online because COVID. Was it at Christmas time? in March? I don't remember. But anyways, last year, I don't know. I forgot what it's like to go out there shopping with all these kids and buy all this stuff. It, it's exhausting and it's hot. I was so hot in the store. I finally said, you know what? Here's my bank card. Go wild. I'll see you guys later. And I'm in the car with Sam. Sam, they, they got my bank card. Three dangerous. girls with my bank card. <laughs> That's dangerous. Wait till you see how much Gabby spent on her shoes. Gabby needed, wanted new boots for Christmas. Like just some little warmish, but not like I don't know. She she wanted boots for Christmas. Guess how much they were? Two hundred bucks. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. It's like she never wants anything, but then the stuff that she does want is always expensive. So it's a good thing she doesn't ever want anything. You guys, driving home, there's such a bad windstorm that the power is completely out. There's no street lights, there's no stores open, we can't get snacks. We're in a haunted house. It's like a haunted city. No, not the stores are open. No, the stores, you can't even buy stuff. They're, everything's electronic. Not cash. So if there's no vlog, if you guys, if this vlog is late, you guys will know why there's no power. I see power up there. Is there power up there? No, no. We're probably good. We might be good. See, look, I see Christmas lights up there. Yeah, but there's Christmas there's lights way back there. there. Nope, no power near our house, you guys. Yeah, I told you that. Wait, I saw lights. Wait, Christmas lights are on for some reason. Look, that guy has lights. Come on. Maybe we have lights. So it's been hours now, and we're still in the dark. And this is too far away from me. We got lights. Sam's over there working on an, uh, it's propane it to be fixed, like, heater. Yeah, it's supposed to be fixed at 7.15. And it's all out everywhere in our area. Except for Walmart. Like, and yeah. Three it's three hours away. It's yeah. still out, right? Like, yeah. yeah, like three hours away is power outage. The outhouse at our barn, you know where the boys are? It blew over. The outhouse blew over. Because like, nobody was in it. That's how bad the storm is. It's like probably. It's not even a storm. It's just wind. Wind, like such I'm bad wind. Let me see. Looks like she's dying. And I'm yeah, and what are you doing? What, what is, is, is she she's doing? Underneath the freaking table. She's yeah. scared. Oh yeah, she's scared. <laughs> the dogs are that. like, what's happening? But anyway, we're playing cards. We have a game system out here. We I have trying to start all the presents there. that okay. we bought today for the grandkids, or that we've been collecting for the she's grandkids. On the Show them your cards. I, I promise we won't look. Mm mm. That's Daisy's. That's Daisy's that. present. Yeah, Gabby, Elizabeth Sophie's helped. Sophie's excited. She bought it for Daisy. It was a beautiful it thing. It was eleven dollars. Oh, yeah. There, I helped her pick it out. Yeah, and Daisy's gonna ruin it. And Daisy's just walking over top of my body. Mm -hmm. All right. This is what it looks like. I'm prepared. On the day by day farm in a power cool. outage when you can't even use your phone. Sophie's phone's almost dead. All of our phones are almost dead. Mine's at 77. Mine's at 60. Oh, well, you guys are lucky. Mine's at like... Mine's at 76, actually. Mine's dead. Mine's at... Say hi, Mace. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> Macy, fall <laughs> down. Macy, fall <laughs> down. Yeah. All right, let's start. All right, we're going to play cards. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way